Um, this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to take out this old battery. This is from 1996. It's a battery from 96. And I just bought this 1988 Chevy 4x4 truck. And what we're going to do is we're going to revitalize it. We're going to bring it back to life. I'm going to show you how you do it with a welder. Now, I don't sponsor anybody, so I probably need to turn these sideways. But anyways, as I like to do it, I drink a beer when I do things because I'm real TV, not fake TV, okay? So if you don't like whatever. And for all you little uh, uh, internet troll Nazi guys that hate on everything because your life's so fucking miserable, um, don't care. I'm going to pop these bad boys open, right? So you got to get the old acid out here. Now, guys, do you know battery acid is very bad? It gets on anything. It, your holes closed, everything. Those look pretty fucking bone dry to me. But just to make sure, and sure we're gonna get all this bullshit out. We're gonna just pop it up top. We're gonna hook my clamp real quick. Do that later. And later in the day. Not on yet. We're good. I'm just gonna pour it over the side. Mike G, watch out. Video on it. Okay. Got a little drop cloth right there. That drop cloth is old. It's got holes in it. I also got some paper towels, whatever in it. Toilet paper, whatever the case is. Not really worried about it. Drip, 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 drip. Don't get it on you. It'll fuck you up. Gotta have distilled water. Okay, this is drinking water. We don't want this. We want distilled water. A little bit on my finger. Doesn't hurt really, but whatever. Okay. All right. So we're gonna turn around. Now I got a side mount battery, so I have a couple screws in there. Anyways, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go over the little battery. Now I put some bolts in there. I know it's Jack Link. All you internet Nazis on here going, oh my God, you should just do it. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so I got my welding rod right here. Boom. We're going to get it like so. Uh, clamp it there. Rotate off the thing a little bit so it's not touching anything. I don't like to touch anything. Okay, boom. We're there. Then we're going to take our ground. Our ground why, uh, where's you at? There you at, buddy. Okay, then we're going to take our ground. We're going to ground it like so. Like yo. Like so, like yo, man. Anyways, we get a good ground on the sun again. It kills us. Well, come on, baby. Okay, there we go. All right. So, what we're we gonna do now? We got it on the positive. We got a little rod there. So it's arcing to it. And the next thing is, I'm gonna put distilled water in there. Okay. I'm gonna fill these bad boys up, do to do like so. Now, I'm telling you, don't do this in a place you want anything to like last, because. That ass will eat up anything, pretty much everything. So I'm gonna fill these up. 1996 battery, man. You believe that? You can already see inside there kind of the stuff, the calcium deposits, whatever they call that. I'm sure, there's another name. I'm sure you internet Nazis are gonna help me on that one. Well, what it is, buddy? This is got the wrong verbiage. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this bad boy on. And when I do that, before I do that. Okay, we got our 220 setting. Okay, we're on 220. Yep. Okay. Ooh, we got full blast. We're gonna start at 50. 50 guys. We're gonna blow up your battery. So here we go. Boom! Just joking. Just joking. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> anyways, we're cooking. We're drinking. I'm not gonna put, get the bottle, but y'all know what kind of beer this is. It's my favorite. I'm not gonna advertise it, but whatever. But it's good beer. And they don't pay me. I, I, if you guys sponsor me, I'll do it next time. But. You see it start bubbling right there in that one. It's starting to pick up the heat, but I like to pick up the heat a little bit. We're going to let it run over. We're going to let it pick up the heat. Now, guys, welders, you know we're not supposed to. We're supposed to shut off, turn back on. But in this case, I just kind of hit the dial. Oh, you see it bubbling? A little bit. Yep, well. We're going to go up to 85. Oh, there's a bubble, big bubble came there. See it? You guys see it boiling right there? Okay, now we got battery acid boiling. What I do is I just flood it. Start doing that, I flood it. Get all that crap out of there. Anyways, I got this already full. I unhooked my battery from it. I'm just going to let that drain out. Now let it go. That nasty stuff coming out of it. Look at that. 
Probably so. I was too busy looking at the screen. Right. Bam. All right. Fun part. O'Reilly is 11 bucks. Battery acid. Yay, refill part time. Let me get a little kit, just go there. You fill it up. Boop. Boop. Oh, you guys like my sound effects? It's good. Well, I have fun doing it, so it's all matters. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah, we got enough for. So, I got two. I have 11 bucks. I need about two batteries. You ever run short guys to still water to add that? We had anyways to them. So, oh, Modelo, party fell. Hope you got that on tape because we well, us that's, that's normal people. We do shit like that. So, that on there. Okay. So, I got two amps. I'm going to do a two amp charge. You got positive right here. I'm going to hook it up. We know we have good connection, obviously, because we were just doing the damn thing. And I'm going to get the timer to set it for 24 hours. And we heard it. We hear it done that. That means it's charging, baby. It's taking the charge. So we're going to let this sit and we'll see if we revitalize. This old ass caught no battery. All right, get back with you soon. We're back, baby. And guess what? Look down there, and I, I haven't been going this. I ain't been going 24 hours, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We hit it on there. It started up immediately. We're sitting at 13 2. You've seen it for the camera, baby. That is what you want to be at. So, I, got, I bought this truck last night. For 2000 bucks, 96, 4x4, four four, no, 1988, 4x4, four four, Chevy, single cab, for $2,000. $2, he says, it's not going to start, it's bad battery. I said, okay, that's fine. So I say, can I come get the battery real quick for me? So he lives right down the street. Came got the battery. Guess what, buddy? I saved myself 100 bucks, 120 bucks actually, at the parts store. So, uh, yeah, uh, what is $14 divided by two? Seven bucks it cost me to revitalize battery. So, seven dollars, my friend. Catch y'all later. Follow, share, and subscribe. You see it down there. Click that button for more content.